Hi, this is Dave Muir with Skyway Software. And in this video, I'm going to generate a Spring Flex 4 Blaze DS application in Spring Source Tool Suite using My Eclipse for Spring. And I'm planning to focus on the Flex 4 user interface components that are generated. So what I plan to generate in this video is a Flex 4 application that looks like this. And Flex does have a ton of great rich UI components. But the tough part is understanding what all those controls can do and then bringing them together in a real-world application. So the great thing about My Eclipse for Spring is that you can generate this type of application in a matter of minutes with a couple wizard clicks and your input. So obviously it accelerates your Flex development, but it also provides a contextual example so that the Flex learning curve decreases because you have an application with your data. And you don't have to spend a lot of time looking at docs and testing different approaches because it's all right here in your workspace. Now taking a quick high-level look at the major UI components I'm about to generate, you'll notice this application includes all the create, read, update, and delete functionality, including the action scripting for parent domain objects and their relationships. It comes with the Flex4 open source SDK and an ant script that automatically compiles the flash file after, after scaffolding. Assets, including skins, are included. A, a primary data grid is generated to list the parent records. Flex4 uh, generation uses a tab bar implementation for editing records in their children. This is different from Flex3.5 and not very straightforward when you jump to the new version. Validators are added for required fields, numbered types, and dates. And speaking of dates, those are handled uh, on all components, both forms and lists. An accordion view is generated to show multiple children. One-to-many relationships are shown in an editable data grid. And the pop-up manager is used for adding children in a one-to-many relationship. Again, these are the major UI Flex4 components generated, and there's much more contained in this application, so let's get to generating it. So jumping over to STS25, you'll notice I've uh, installed the My Clips for Spring plugins, and the first thing uh, I want to do is create a new dynamic web project. You can use other project types as well, uh, but for this video I'm just going to create the Acme Store dynamic project. And I'm, I'm planning to use my SQL uh, connection here, so all I need to do is right-click the project and go to My Eclipse Scaffold Spring CRUD Application. I'll run through this wizard very quickly. We've got another tutorial and video on uh, more in detail on this wizard, but I'll choose a Database Schema, use my connection, and then you'll notice I've got my tables here to choose from. I'll choose Product and Order Item. I'll move those o over, select All for scaffolding, and then um, I'll uh, type in my package name and this is where I select Flex. Once I do that the next pane presents me with some Flex options. You can see Flex 4.0 is the default. You can definitely use 3.5 if you want to or change your Flex SDK location. After that I've got some more customization but I'm just going to go ahead and click finish to generate the app. So after generation, you'll notice on the right hand side the ant script to build the flash file uh, runs. Then I'm also left with an entire project here that's got a, a complete spring backend with all the config files. And then your flex source um, with all of the MXML and action scripting that, um, that you need to support those create, read, and update, delete operations. You'll notice mine is color coded. I've got the flash builder plugins installed and that's an option if you want uh, color coding and uh, content assist. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run it on my server. And we'll just add Acme Store, click Finish, and I'll just go ahead and run this. And once that's started up, I'll bring over my browser. I've got my dashboard here, and I'll go ahead and take a look at the products. So I've got my uh, data grid here. I can look at uh, each child. I've got um, you know, a tab bar implementation. I've got an editable data grid for my many relationships. Um, I can add order items with the uh, pop-up manager. So just a bunch of component, useful components that I think you'll find useful from a Flex4 standpoint. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. There's a detailed tutorial about this very subject on the educational material. Please take a look at all the other resources we have online.